Hi traders, this is Glenn from Practical Pips. We're gonna do something a little bit different today. So where we would normally do a, a bit of a trade roundup and have a look at the pairs that we're looking at, we thought we'd answer a question that we get asked quite often uh, from a lot of subscribers. Um, and that is around why we trade higher time frames. Um, so when you choose to trade higher time frames, so by higher we mean sort of daily, weekly, that kind of thing, as opposed to hourly or, or even less than that. Um, what you typically find is you get higher confidence setups um, that produce big winners, but you don't get as many trades. Um, but we had a, a trade that's it's actually currently on. Um, it's a sell on the Aussie CAD. Um, and we thought we'd share with you a, a little bit of our reasoning behind it. So what I've got here is a four hour chart uh, on the Aussie CAD. And last week sometime, there were uh, a lot of suggestions on Twitter, a lot of people talking about this potential head and shoulders setup that we see. Give me one second, and there we go. So on a four hour chart, we've, we've kind of got the shoulder, this bump, we've got this very defined head and, and a second shoulder. Um, and for those of you that have traded head and shoulders patterns before, they're, they're generally quite reliable. Uh, what you look to do is, is you look for a break of this neckline. Uh, so this neckline is, is generally represented by the bottoms that you see here. Um, and you look to see a break of that, and then you, you basically go down with the pair. Now, having a look on a four hour time frame, if I go ahead a little bit, um, you can see what happened here. So price moved down to where it would sort of be a traditional trigger uh, and very quickly bounced off that level, which is a good indicator that price is not respecting the time frame that you are trading on and you should move to a higher time frame. Um, but let's keep going. Let's keep going. It, it actually gets potentially worse. Uh, for someone trading on the wrong time frame. So a little bit later on, uh, we get a, a second break and it could then be argued, of course, that this was not the shoulder or the right shoulder, but rather this area was the right shoulder, this much larger area. Price eventually breaks through that floor um, and there would uh, essentially be your sell and, and that's where you'd be going. Now, your stop loss would typically be placed uh, around about up here on these highs, somewhere on this level here. On a head and shoulders pattern, you really don't want to be going higher than that. If, if you're selling, it's really your, your kind of line in the sand. So let's advance this a little bit and, and have a look what happened. Um, we got a definite clear entry and price kicked off and, and pushed right up against it and then fell uh, again. So, and, and to carry on, it's, it's actually fallen quite a bit further. So very interesting to note here, what we've seen is, is uh, essentially a failed head and shoulders pattern. So what's going on here? Well, what we can see is, is price is definitely not respecting this time frame. If you move to a higher time frame, uh, this is a weekly time frame, which is actually how we took this trade. Uh, and what I'm going to do is just remove all of these objects from here. What you can see is instead of worrying about noise that we've experienced in, in last week, uh, in this candle over here, you can see price going up and down of a bit of a battle between the bulls and the bears. If you look on a weekly time frame, you see something a lot more interesting. Uh, we've got a horizontal level here, uh, which corresponded nicely as support and resistance recently, but more than that, uh, we've got an incredible pin bar touching this downward facing trend line. Um, and that was where our trade was. So what that meant for us is we had a stop loss somewhere up here at the top of this pin bar. Um, and yeah, we, you know, we, we were triggered down here last week and we sat through uh, almost a 200 pip drawdown. Um, but now price has fallen quite nicely. We're sitting at about 130, 140 pips in the green. So the point of this is, is not to boast a, around a successful trade. Obviously we're very happy, our subscribers are happy. It's, it's a very good looking trade. Hopefully it reaches our, our final profit target uh, somewhere down here. But the point is, is that when trades are not respecting the time frame that you are using, you're probably using the wrong time frame. Um, don't be afraid to look at higher time frames. They do produce higher confidence setups. Um, you, you test it yourself and, and see what we mean. That's all for today. Happy trading.